This is Angels in the Snow. I have two blocks lined up long and I've laid back over the block. I'll come up to show you actually. Do you see the two long blocks? It's not a particular place where the block lands. I want you to put it where it feels comfortable. It's not going to be totally comfortable. You're laying over a square or a rectangular shaped block, but it's in the upper back or mid back area and your head is supported with the block. If you lie back and your head is way up, you'll need to grab a blanket and support your head. Sometimes the setup takes a little work, but it's totally worth it. So I lift my head up and support it with a blanket. I want you to feel comfortable. I'm going to show the actual pose without the blanket. Angels in the snow, I think we've all done them. Unless maybe you've grown up in Hawaii. <laughs> Press your fingernails into the floor so that your arms are toned. So in other words, you don't want noodle arms to do angels in the snow. You press them down, toned arms. And keeping the tone, take your arms over head. <clears throat> At some point, you may reach some tension or tightness in the arms and shoulders. Pause and breathe three to five to seven breaths. Once you've done that, here's what you'll do. Press your head down, lift your torso up, and get one shoulder blade underneath you, then the other, and then you'll be able to go a little bit further. At some point, you'll, go, you'll have gone as far as you can go. At that point, turn the palms and arms toward each other and bring your arms right alongside your head. Notice my hands have come up off the floor. If you're very open, your hands will not, but you'll build some good strength and alignment this way. For those of us who are a little bit tighter, just know at some point, shoulder blades on the back, you'll have to lift your hands up, palms toward each other. And then like an angel in the snow, bring your arms down to your side. Repeat this three to five times. <clears throat> 